Hi, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you another incoming project that I received from the fabulous Kay Heffen. We swapped for um, the month of July at the Loaded Envelopes Galore and More Facebook group. Um, it was a flip-flop box swap that we completed. And um, she did such a great job. Like I, I loved what she created for me. Um, I have no idea what paper collection she used, but it just, it, I was a kid growing up in the 90s and it just kind of brings me back. I absolutely loved it. Um, her project was very unique in all of the um, projects that had, or the, the participants had created. Um, she did a real grungy feel to it and I absolutely loved how, how it turned out. But, uh, we had to do a flip-flop box, a pair, obviously, and inside one box are some handmade embellishments, and inside is an, the other box is a little gift for your partner having to do with summertime. And then Kay also gifted me um, this amazing tin that she created, and I'll show you more of it later. And also she did um, a beach bag, and it's just a regular um, craft bag from like Dollar Tree or something. And um, she just altered it with some of the paper from the collection. And uh, this is um, some burlap that she used behind there. It's, it's a pretty cool little fabric. And she decorated with this cute little tag that she made. And it has some of these... Um, turtle beads at the end of them. I, lo I love how this turned out. I'm definitely reusing this. But um, onto the flip-flop boxes. And this is what the side looks like. This, this paper that she used is really, really cool. It just adds um, a lot of texture to it without any bulk. And then she used a uh, hemp braided trim for the sides. Some more of this burlap fabric for the, um, the, the flip-flop straps. And inside are the embellishments that she created. Let me just move everything out of the way here. So she did this really cool... Uh, tag and it's it's I love mixed media so this really speaks to me but she did just a regular tag base and then there's some cheesecloth and a little bit more of like this hempish trim and some flowers and seashells starfish uh, and it looks like she even used like maybe some rope on the back as well and then some more of this cute trim at the top and then the next is um, a shaker tag, and she used some sequins and sand and the tiniest little shells that you've ever seen, along with a couple of, this is a starfish um, metal charm. And then she just created like a little tag at the top as well. Great job, absolutely love it. Um, this is just a cute little charm embellishment that she created. Uh, there's the beading at the top and bottom, another starfish uh, metal, and then it looks like she just maybe wrapped this, this post with some fiber. Really cute. I love how this turned out. I struggle at making charms too, so thank you. I will definitely be using these. She did a second charm. This looks like she just wrapped it with paper from the collection and added some more beads at the bottom. This this is um a metal turtle that she added. These charms are adorable. And then there's a little three by four Project Life card along with a paper clip that comes off. Very cute. I like this idea. And then we have a really cute pair of flip-flops. Oh, I love them. How cute, thank you. And then we have a bottle filled with sand and then she used another um, dangle charm at the top. These little mini seashells are just adorable. And then there's a seashell in here as well. And it looks like she included an extra paper clip and some 
more of these oh the mini shells love them super cute thank you i love oh. it inside this other box um and let's see she did do a little different on the sides so i'm gonna show you the side real quick really cute more of that cheesecloth and rope same thing with the the burlap straps and then the hemp around the the sides she even included these cute little um uh tags for the back i just thought that was it's the little things it really is it's the details that make it but oh this is cute so we have some fish soap and then a few um bath bombs some nail clippers that are in the shape of feet which are really cute Little known fact, I work for a podiatry office. <laughs> and then a uh, lantern. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. She included this really pretty tin. And I'm going to get a close-up of that for you. Bring the camera in because the detail is just amazing. So she did uh, a mixed-media tin. And she used, I'm going to assume it's probably gassoed with... Um, some alcohol ink, maybe, um, and then some sand and sequins and more of these mini shells. It looks like she maybe spritzed or um, used some gold paint around it. And the super cute seahorse is in the center. I just, I love this. And it looks like she might have even used um, a texture paste on there and did these shells on the sides. Very, very pretty. And inside, oh, there's some cute little bottles. Thank you. And she altered the top of it as well. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Kay, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.